Florida. First team all SEC. First pitch, second baseman. We've seen some great plays from people like Harrison Ray, Bliss. The second baseman had been outstanding at the College World Series. To score a run if it's hit over the outfield. DeMarco, there is a huge hole in left center. That's ball four and two on for Louisville. That one is caught over there by Julian Infante. Otherwise, that was a run. Did he swing? No. Ooh. First base, something's been uh, asked a few times. Billy Hayes for all. That one is ripped, and that one is into center. It's going to get down, and all of a sudden, Vandy in business as Ray tries to take the extra base, and he does. For Harrison Ray, that ball was in the glove of Lucas Dunn, and he said, I'm going. Lucas Dunn gets a good jump on it, on this changeup. But once he has to lay back on it smartly, there's a runner at first base. It looked like he didn't get a good read on it later on. And Ray aggressively goes is a lot out of the zone. Slow roll to short. They'll go to second for one to first turn the double play. But the walk comes in to score. Harrison Ray and Vanderbilt now is up one to nothing. That runs all on Ray. On what he did going first to third, a lot of people take the safe route with no outs. That was Dre Vanderbilt, like it didn't exist. Now, if you're a kid growing up, that's the uniform you're than me. <laughs> mouth open. Let's see it. Let's see. First they yell mouth open. I'm going to leave it for a while. See you next time. He was smiling a lot. Uh, uh, becoming a bit of a pain for teams to play. The fighting Jeters causing some headaches. Popped up, right fielder, Blade. Under it, got it. Hickman through four. 6 4 3 double play. Popped up, center field, Lucas Dunn. Snyder, the left fielder, gives way. And that's it. Luke Smith keeps rolling along. It's 1 0. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Times. Just stepping off. Baby's not going, and here we go again with the ball straight up in the air. Harrison Ray lands in the leather. Oh, Struck him out. Luke Smith locked in. A revelation for Louisville is lap. Beaten into the ground. And Paul steps on second. Hit. That one is hammered to second, and that is Levy who flips to the shortstop, and they get Scott. Nice double play. Levy to fits this game. We'll start with Danny Orienti, the designated hitter. He gets a fastball. This has got the gap written all over it. Blade is not going to get there. Orienti goes into second. He will stand up with a leadoff double. Hickman comes out, Eater comes in, and Louisville jumps him. Kind of reminds you of last night a little bit. JT Ginn goes six innings. They don't get anything going against Ginn. Mississippi. Outfield real shallow. 0-1. Gets that one down. Eater will fire to first. Nice play. And the tying run moves to third. Good job, all. Jake Eater, 37 strikeouts, 15 walks on the season. 1-1 to short, fielded, they're going to come home with it, and the infield in, paid off! There you do it. Ethan Paul nails Leonard at the plate, it'll stay 1-0. Justin Levy swung at a pitch that was inside, and the pitch beat him, and he pounded it on the ground. And the aggressiveness of Coach Corbin to bring the infield in pays off big time. Ethan Paul with another superb play, not panicking whatsoever. No chance. You go head first into the plate. That's what you're going to get. Good play by Paul and a hop. His throw took him right in. One, two. That one is through the hole. And heading to second and putting the brakes on late is Levy. 
But Henry Davis out of the nine spot. In the dirt going to third. And the throw goes into left field. The Cardinals have run themselves right into a tie game. Carl, you said it. They just run themselves into a tie game. And this is exactly what Coach McDonald was talking about. Let's play our game. Let's get on base. Let's apply pressure. That's ex and they've done that. Slow to the plate. Big high left kick. Easier lefties to steal third than righties. And you saw it right there, forcing the issue, making the defense make a play and make a mistake. Louisville's first steal. Second is Davis. Dunn can give him the lead. That one's off the knee of the pitcher, and it goes into left field. That's going to allow Davis to score, and all of a sudden, the Cardinals are on top, 2-1. to one. A deflection off the leg of Eater past Paul. And Tyler Brown is sitting up there with a baseball in his hand. You get speed on the base pass, and it just changes the entire ball game. It's exactly what Louisville does in this inning. Levy steals third, forces the throw into left field. There's the first run, then it's just an instant play on the mound. Stuck the glove out there, Paul, with not enough time to get back to it. Davis scores from second base, and just like what happened last. One, one fair ball fielded cleanly by Infante, but for the first. That misses, and Blade is walked. Fastball ripped. Fair ball down the line. It goes into the corner. Blade to third. He's being weighed in. Here's the throw. Safe, and we're tied. the biggest double of the season and the entire Vanderbilt bench is being sent back to the bench. Well, you knew this one was coming. You knew this one was coming and it's understandable on both sides. There's, I mean, there's been emotion the entire night that's supposed to be in this game. I said it at the beginning. I'm just Luke Smith has thrown his heart out tonight man. He's been really good but four times through the order against one of the best offenses in the country. You just felt like Vanderbilt was going to square him up. You get the walk to Blade. And then the senior eighth of Paul comes up with one of the biggest swings of the year for Vanderbilt right there. It looked like a changeup any that hung in the zone. He hooks it down the right field line. Fastball. It was a fastball. Whatever it was, Paul but, barreled it up. But what made this pitch right down the middle, he was supposed to go away with it, pulled it right down. Great exit velocity on it. But the 1-0 take, that was the difference maker. Forced him to throw. Clark jammed. Second baseman going back. He won't get it. Over the head of Levy on a jam shot. And Vanderbilt has runners at first and third. Levy backpedaled instead of turning and running. He didn't get a good read on it at all. Watch Levy with good speed at second base. He's playing normal depth at second. He gets jammed right here. And Lady starts backpedaling from the get-go. Just slide out, slide a little bit, run back, get in an angle. Paul did the right thing. You have to hold right. The 0-2 to DeMarco. Breaking ball. Oh, fair ball over the head of Benellis. 1-1 one, one comes in. And to third base and held is Clark. And RBI single for DeMarco on a ball that bounced over the head of Benellis. Vanderbilt on top, 3-2. By inches, that ball is fair. Good call. Third base by Jeff Hendricks. See where it lands, goes right over the bag. Fair ball. Now you have runners at second and third. You'll have the lead. The infield's going to have to come in. Lead. Foul tipped into the glove. He is out. Breaking.
breaking ball on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly and thrown to first. On the ground, off the bag, that's the break they needed. Campbell will head to second base, and he will be there with a double, and that thing was earmarked for the bag, and it took a bounce over Infante's head. And nothing Infante could do on that one. Pitch is down in the zone, gets a good read on it, hits the bag. And you're right, Carl, that's the break they needed. Runner in scoring position now. And again, the bottom of the order, playing big for Louisville. Jam shot on the infield, ready coming. Hey, makes the diving catch, and that sends Vanderbilt into the College World Series Finals. What a jump by Wright. Full swing, you usually see some hesitation up the middle. Wow. That's a pretty good baseball game, boys. We got a little bit of everything. We had everything, including a comeback tonight from Vanderbilt. Coaches exchanging their handshakes behind. <laughs>